And we're here in Lebanon. Lebanon? Lebanon. Try Lebanon. Again. Lebanon. backup yeah so I just I don't have to touch the wheel I just turn the thing which way that is pretty slick it is it does if it's good for when you want to go straight yeah yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. no that's outstanding I, I haven't seen that before so yeah I've only done I don't know 100 of these so it's pretty <laughs> slick Everybody. Welcome back to Zephyr's Travels. I am Randy. And I'm Diane. And we are here in Lebanon, Tennessee, and we're at the Airstream International Rally. Now every year the Airstream Club hosts the rally in different parts of the country and they invite all the Airstream Clubs from across the country to come and attend. This year in Tennessee we have almost 800 Airstreams here. What is an Airstream Rally? It's a gathering of like-minded people who own an Airstream product, who come together for a week to interact, have happy hours and social time with each other, to go to events and just enjoy each other's company. At the same time, we get to learn from each other. There are seminars here, there are vendors here. We can buy RV parts or RV accessories or jewelry, all kinds of different things that are for sale here. So if you had to say, so it's not something that you're doing, I'm done with it. You only have two colors now. Yes. Yep. So the brown, the state brown. Yep. Every year, the brown. And then the pearl gray. We're still doing it. I'm not. We don't. We don't. We're, we shot for six, eight hours yesterday, did our job, and then, and then tomorrow we're doing a walk through the 2023 Classic, and then we're doing the top, and then we have to go to work. <laughs> okay, sounds like plan. <laughs> having fun? We are having an absolute freaking blast. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. They hold them in different places of the country. They try to do East Coast, West Coast alternating years, so it makes it easier for one side of the country to get here or the other. Um, this year it is in Lebanon, Tennessee. Next year it's actually going to be in Maine which will be interesting. We've never been to Maine before, so we're actually looking forward to going to that. Um, the year after that, they're talking about Wyoming. So you can get an idea that they move the rally around the different places to incorporate different pl places for us to go visit. It's great for the community because all these people here, you know, we all sneak off the property and go out and have uh, dinner or, or whatever, do some sightseeing. They brought in, I don't know, four big buses yesterday, and they took mm -hmm. a large group of people to the Grand Old Opry. As we, at Lebanon is near Nashville. Yeah, we're only 30 miles outside of Nashville, so you, you can go to visit Nashville here from, while you're here. You know, it's really great for the community, community. They say that a rally like this will bring in millions of dollars to the community and tourist dollars over the week that we're here, and I could see that. It really would make sense. We are at the Tennessee State Fairground. They have, I don't know how many RV sites. Actually, everybody's on an RV site. We all have electric and water, so it's not roughing it in any way. Everybody's got 30 amp electricity, so we can run our air conditioners, which we really needed this week. <laughs> it's extremely warm, and if you do venture 
anywhere from middle of the country to down south in the summer. It's extremely humid. Yeah, it's been so humid that it's fallen out of the sky a bunch of times. We've had a little bit of rain while we were here, uh, which doesn't help the humidity at all. No. Um, but today, is, it's probably, it's, most days it's been around 90 or up um, temperature-wise. We really haven't had any really cool days at all. No, no. Nope. Nope. And we've been lucky because most of the rain occurs in the evening, overnight, yeah, we had one day, Sunday, one, it rained in the afternoon. We, yeah, we got a little bit of rain. Yeah. So, right now we're going to take a walk around the area, show you some airstreams if we find anything unique. Yeah, we're going to take you around and show, show you whatever we can see. There are some very unique airstreams here, some that you don't normally see. Um, one of them that we're trying to get over and take a look at, there's actually a airstream motorhome with a rooftop deck. They actually made this from the factory, so we're going to wander over and try to check that one out and some of the other ones while we uh, are in the area. So come on along with us. Let's go. Okay. This is an Airstream Sky Deck. It's a 2005, and they only built these for a few years in the 2000s. They're really, the market for these was probably more for corporate events. That's where a lot of them got sold to because they have a, a rooftop seating area that folds out and it can be used for some type of hospitality events. Yeah, but a few of them, you know, have now found their way into private hands and are being used, you know, as a regular motorhome. You access the sky deck through a staircase that's inside the motorhome. I shot of this side of it. And as you can see, it does have kind of a race track theme to it. From what I understand, some people who've actually owned these, Dale Earnhardt Jr. actually owned one of these at one time. So, kind of unique and different. You won't see one of these very often, and thought we'd get some shots of it and share it with you. So behind me is a 24-foot Argosy. Now, Argosy was built by Airstream, and it was really designed to be a budget model. Um, they were, are always a little bit narrower, and they had some steel instead of aluminum. All, all being an all aluminum body, there was some steel in the construction of it, and they are always painted. So they're kind of unique. They built them through the 70s and 80s. This one's kind of done in the original colors, and the one behind me over there with the blue is a little bit different in color. This one behind me, this Argosy, you can kind of see where it's painted black on the top and along the bottom. Those were the steel sections on the Argosy. What do you think of this one, Diane? Pretty nice. I love the, the shape of it. Yeah. Kind of a torpedo shape. Yeah. A 61? 61 trade wind. Oh, trade wind. Oh. 24 foot. This one looks to be maybe a 1954 Airstream. Within the Airstream Club, there is a subgroup called the Vintage Airstream Club. These are a group of Airstreamers who own older Airstreams like the one behind me. Now, we were here on Saturday, and they actually did a parade where they hitched them all up to their trucks and drove them around the fairgrounds. So we got to see that, and we're going to show you some of that footage right now.
After walking around looking at vintage Airstreams, it's always nice to be able to stop and get an ice cream cone. Or a dish of ice cream. It's good. Well, the rally is winding down, and we've had an absolutely wonderful time. This is our first international, and we certainly will be doing it as soon as next year. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun. Um, we've gotten to uh, meet a lot of neat people. We've met uh, two other YouTube couples, um, Wander Local, uh, Daniel and Lauren, and we met Love Subin, um, and that is Rich and Cindy. And we this morning we put a uh, little talk on about what it's like to run a YouTube channel, and, and we will show you some of that video. Yeah, we were quite surprised. We didn't know how many people would show up, and actually we had quite a good crowd. Yeah, we had quite a number of people show up and, and uh, comment that they enjoy our channel, so we really appreciate that. And if you enjoy our channel, please add a comment in there too. We like that. I'd like to hear from you. But it, it's really been uh, a really unique experience. We are first time rally attenders. So you can see our here, our badge, which um, everyone's been real friendly and, and made a point to come around and you know welcome us. That's one thing about whether you travel in an Airstream or another type of trailer, that people are just so friendly. Right, right. And you don't have to have a Airstream to uh, enjoy a rally like this. Most manufacturers have some type of club that you can join with your group, and they offer rallies in different places. And they're all different, but you know you can join in and try that out yourself with if you got a Winnebago I know they do it Grand Designs does it so whatever you have you know take advantage of that club and, and join it and get together with other people that have a uh, like um, product like you do then enjoy it you, you're gonna learn so much and meet some great people yes so like we said the, the rally is winding down the closing ceremonies are this evening some Airstreamers have already left uh, and some, you know, we're going to stay until Sunday morning when we have to be out of here. Yeah, we've been so busy here that we haven't had a chance to get into Nashville, which is right next door. So we're going to take advantage of tomorrow and the fact that they let us park the trailer here for another night and cut over to Nashville. Yeah, look at the sights there. and. Yeah, and we'll share that in a different video. Right. Yeah. But I don't know. I this has really been a, a great event, and we're looking forward to next year. Right, and we would highly recommend it. If you do have an Airstream trailer, there is information on the website for the International Rally next year. Yeah, so if you've got an Airstream and you're, and you're not a member of the club, join the club, go to Airstream Club, just Google search Airstream Club. You get all the information for that and the rally right there. So check it out. Well, I think we should wrap this video up here. Okay. If you like this video, please. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Zephyr Travels. And leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Um, are you have you ever been to an Airstream rally or any type of club rally? Or did we see you here? Say hello in the comments. We'd like to hear from you. Um, until the next time, guys. We will see you down the road. Take care. Take care. Bye. Bye.